You can see it. Damn. Open it. Uh, how are these fish different than the ones that we have in the other other aquaria cray? Well, um, they're bigger and they have a little bit more color to them. They're goldfish and our and our and our duck up. The color is different. Are all of these goldfish? Well, no. I don't think so. Some are fat. What's in the aquarium? There's some H cap on. Well, you know, I just put the water and the fish in because I wanted you to see something, and I thought you could see it much better without the sand and all the green. So let's see what's going to happen when I draw very gently. Look closely. Oh, the fish are going to eat them. the others when they come back. Could you come up, Glenn, and um, read it? What is the black cup on the sand? On the sand. <gasps> he had that question when he was looking at his little aquarium. Could anybody help him? Uh, yes. He's not sure what it is. I Lisa. Well, um, it might be from the sand or it might be from the fish. They could be going to the bathroom. Uh, do you have any um, reason for suggesting that? Have you noticed anything, Chris? Because um, it's kind of brown and it's um, little, like, and if it would be big, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be coming from the fish. Don? Well, when I had my fish, well, uh, I saw some some stuff inside the snail shell, and I saw it turn into black. Well, I think it's the fish when they're vomiting. Becky? I think that's the snails because when I go back and look at those fish, that cup with the fish in back there, I don't see any black stuff. So you think it might be the snail? Uh -huh. Someone else says it might be the fish. Well, how are we going to uh, find out about this? What is it, Amy? We can do an experiment. Do an experiment? How about you, Lisa? What do you think? Well, and do an experiment and put a snail in one container and put a fish in another container. Oh, and snail in one. And with sand. And then with the what? Oh, with, with sand. Oh. And then, then if we see any more blackness then in one container and none in the other container, then we know where we're coming from. Or maybe the sand has to, or maybe the grind of rock has to do. And we well, can put this plain sand in one, and let's see if it has any black stuff in it. How would that be, then? You said it could be sand with uh, dirt yeah, on the, 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 when you grind up the rock, yeah. there could be some dirt on it. All right, then that would be one thing. That was I meant. And that's what you meant, too? And you meant... Let me um, put one fish in one container. What would we need, then? Let's see. We need a container. We need... 
How, how many oh. containers were we need? Two, three, three, maybe four. four. Well, let's count. Two. Let's see. You count because it's your problem. Uh, how many would you need? Well, the sand would be one, mm-hmm. and the fish would be two, and the snow would be three. That's it then? Three <laughs> containers. Good. Now we have our three. Aquarius. What do we need to do first? Sand first, and the water, and then the fish, and then the stuff that stuff right there. Well, then let's start with the sand, shall we? Beth, you tell me when. Amy got it. She got it. All right, right over there, quickly. Take your other hand and oh, there you got him. Can you go in and get it? Got it? Looks like a lot. That's all right. Oh, good. Oh, there it is. See? There it is. What does she have on her hand? Uh, very good. Thank you, Jennifer. There, we have five parts to our experiment instead of three, don't we? Oh, actually, yes, if we count this one, we even have six. Do you suppose maybe we'll be able to find out now what causes... Yeah. What causes what, Glenn? The black that's what we're trying to find out, isn't it? I wonder if we will. We'll be, be able to find out tomorrow? Maybe. Maybe. We don't know. We just don't know. The greens. Does someone remember what we planted? Molly said. Oh, what did we on this after we did the planting to help them grow? Water. Water. Yes, we did. We put water on. What do you think happened? What were the results of all this? So this one grew large. Because that one had more smelling in it than this one did because this one had dead things in it and dead things make other things that you're growing make them grow make them grow more. It does. On the time. Do you come home up, Mr. Cuffman? Yes, remember, poke your finger in and put the feet in so it's covered with dirt. Not that fast.
And then what happened? Hmm? What happened afterwards? After that? After it hatched? Turned into the worm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And after the worm, the pupa. Yeah, and which one? Where's the pupa there? The pupa? Mm -hmm. These are pupas. And after the pupa, it turned into the pupa. Mm -hmm. And what's going to happen after that? More. More what? More eggs. And what's going to happen after that? The same thing around. It goes again. But what, what happens when our vials just get full of blue flies? Well, what happens? What do we do at the beginning with those four fruit flies you had? Let them go and what we have the eggs on the wall. Yeah. So it will keep on happening. That's right. So what's going to happen again? What are you going to do with those fruit flies? We'll let them go. Mm -hmm. And then we'll still have lots more eggs and start because we had lots more fruit flies from the other eggs. And that's, right. that's how, yeah. How many bean seeds do you think are in that bean, Carol? I think there's Why don't you see if you can find out for sure? The fun of the beans is when you open it by the string. There's a string. Look at that. Hey, hey, you think that might be five? How many do you think are in there, Stephen? About five. I wonder if anybody could explain this chart by what we saw when we opened the bean pods. David? That plant came from one seed, and each tomato of that one seed made one plant, and that, and then those will grow tomatoes, and maybe each one will have about 48 of them, and then they'll... Um, it depends how many tomatoes there are, and then they'll fall to the ground. And then they'll make about hundreds and hundreds of plants, and those hundreds and hundreds of plants, will, seeds will fall off of them, and then they'll, then they'll make millions of plants, and then they'll keep going on, but some seeds don't survive. I have something very interesting for you to observe. Some of you may know what it is. Don't let it fall. How can he breathe? Some people know already. How many of you know the name of what it is? Lizard. 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 Chameleon. 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 It's a chameleon. Look at that tail. Look at that. What's the name of this? Uh, chameleon. Chameleon. It's a crooked. We're going to switch from the end to your terrarium. All right, first we'll let you try it. Now, Mary Jane, you're going to get ready to lift.
They don't want him to make Get out of the grass so you can turn green. Oh, he's turning green. Look, he's getting lighter. He's getting darker on my side. He's getting lighter. He's getting lighter, he's getting lighter, lighter, lighter in the middle. In the middle. Right in the middle, he's getting lighter. Oh, look at the crooked. He, the crooked is touching him with his feelings. Oh, he's got the chameleon. is really green. Tail can't turn colors on at all. This tail is turn colors. You are dead. Not the tip of it. Well, it'll take longer. She got, she got a sticker. She ate it. It's going to be a never. Now, now we got to change it to six. Ooh, it's hanging out. <laughs> 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 it looks like our corner has some wire around its mouth. It looks like our corner has some wire around its mouth. It looks like our corner has some wire around its mouth. What's going on? I'm breathing. There's a name for animals that catch and eat other animals. They're called predators. Predators. Can everybody say that? Predators. And the animal that gets eaten is the prey. So we have predators, and the animal that gets eaten is the prey. In your terrarium, can you give me examples of predators and prey? David? The chameleon and the cricket. The chameleon and the cricket. Because the chameleon is eating the cricket. And the chameleon eats the cricket. So the chameleon, which is the chameleon? The predator. The chameleon, the predator, and the cricket. Is the prey. Can you think of any other examples of predators and prey? Karen? A lion and a zebra. Very good. Right? An owl and a snake. Any other examples? Huh? I had to find something. Yeah, I found a little bug. Let me see. This is cut where someone's been eating the cliff. Yeah, there's been some animals or something because they're little bugs. There's a little bug. Right there. Oh, I see. Show it. Yeah. Show it to people as they come by. Lindsay, do you want to come take a look? Look at that polyglot. 